Art in the Digital Age, a project proposal. This is my midpoint review. I will take you through my proposal, medium and method. Within my method shows some of my research and inspiration, how I record and analyse my work and what experiments I've been doing currently. My proposal is to create artistic representations of the quantified self, I'll explain a bit more about that, that later, through data visualisation and generative art. I'd like to explore the creative potential of the actual physical forms and shapes of the numbers and words that make up my personal data. Essentially, I'm currently exploring my skills in both handmade and computer-generated art, and I'd like to explore those equally. I want to create art that is functional and has my own signature abstract style, and find patterns in my personal data to view from a new perspective or hopefully learn from or be inspired by. These are the areas that have inspired me. I started looking at generative art and data visualisation. Enrico Bertini is a great tutor from NY Polytechnic who advises to explore processing as a tool. This is something that I'd like to do next year. What is data visualisation? Essentially what I've really learned about data visualisation, and I won't read the entire definition out to you, is that it's context free and can be confused with terms banded around um, like infographics, but those are context sensitive and visualisation can be used to tell any story where infographics would tell just one story. I think my work is veering towards more the, the generative art spectrum and uh, end of the spectrum rather and I see it as an exciting way to produce something with a certain degree of autonomy. Quantified self. There's a lot of this going around at the moment and I feel that there are more exciting ways to present your data and more artistic ways to present your data and that is something that I would like to explore. There was a great article written about this in Vanity Fair recently and I will send that on to you if you would like to read it. I record and analyse my thoughts and work using my blog. Here's some clips of that and I've been doing that over the last months since the course started. And here are some of my experiments. So I've been um, collecting data using the Nike Fuel Band. Um, this records my calories spent, distance I've walked, etc. I've also been collecting data about my sleep time using a sleep app. Deep sleep versus restless sleep and um, data that I can find through that. There's also tools such as Wolfram Alpha which allow you to collect tool, um, data about your Facebook activity. I use this data or the idea of the data which is just ex essentially numbers and letters to start experimenting with. I created base forms out of my numbers to start playing around with. I played with these in pen and ink. This is some ink. Here is some uh, mixture. Another, some, some more mixtures. And again. And then I started looking at block prints and created these out of cork and created block prints from them. So I essentially see how I could perhaps layer and create number patterns out of these prints. So for example here we have 3 and 2. Then I started looking at 3D isometric sort of um, perspectives and just played around with that. Having a look at Roman numerals, so this is 365 such as a uh, time of amount of days in the year. So just looking at letter forms as well as numbers. Here are some number patterns. So I started, I started to think about what I was doing and had a bit of a review of where I'd got to personally and started to think about where my work will live, how do I feel it will be enjoyed, where will it be displayed or, or how will it be accessed. Um, and I sort of imagine it sort of being data as art, almost as a living wallpaper, almost as live art, so that the actual data could change and continue to animate as your data changes. Um, it could do, it's, it's, it's almost a, a sort of personal installation. So some inspiration I've had for this are people like Laurie Frick, who took her sleep time data, as you can see here in an Excel spreadsheet, 
different states of sleep and created beautiful art from that. Laurie Frick did something that I want to do and so did Stephanie Posevec and this is to create abstract art from data and Stephanie did that using words, chapters, paragraphs from books and here you can see comparative um, pieces of art for two different books. And there's something that I would like to do to compare data from one day to the next through some abstract art such as this. She created a key to create her work or for her work to be understood if not just enjoyed and here is an example of that shows you how each branch is made up. So I started to think of my number patterns as a key almost um, and started to think about each one as a motif and each one with their own individual pattern as you saw earlier. Then I started to think about simple data tools and how these patterns could be housed or held and the easiest way, um, the easiest way the data is displayed are in these simple tools such as charts, pie charts, bar charts, polar area charts and all they do is really present a percentage of a whole and that's what I'm thinking about and how the patterns can be displayed. Um, so here's just an example and you see the Nike fuel band on the right, I feel that that could be displayed in a much more artistic way, in a much more traditional artistic way rather than just using the uh, data visualisation tools in their simplest forms. So here is an example of a bar chart from the base forms that you saw earlier just using those patterns so rather than the simple block flat colour using pattern. Then I started thinking about creating a patchwork using shapes um, and these are showing percentages of a whole so each are exactly the same and the yellow area is showing what what part of that whole you may have achieved or what part of that whole you are um, explaining. Um, so this is sort of an example of, of different um, holes um, and each, each of the colour sections it's sort of um, showing a percentage of that hole. So bottom left you can see uh, the yellow area is one day of seven days in the week. The blue area is the 17th day of 30 days in the month. And the pink area is the fourth, day, fourth month of a 12th month year. So I'm trying to simplify that at the moment. But looking back at patterns, so here we've got um, the number 78 potentially. Um, and just using that idea and mixing it with the idea of a patchwork and percentages of a whole um, to display data. And it's all very work in progress at the moment and I think it does need to be simplified and it does need to be clearer but at the same time I, I don't want to lose that artistic edge. Here's some of the patterns closer up and some more experiments with the, uh, the, the idea of a patchwork. I see it as if these were all containing different pieces of data, i.e. numbers, they could just carry on growing and growing and growing and each section be connected to the, to the previous one, almost as in every day the pattern changes and evolves and moves and grows. And that's it. Thank you very much.